Okay, so I'm going to use the Pat McGrath foundation to do um, a makeup, something I'd try on if I was going out. Um, I don't tend to do a huge amount of detail on my eyes anymore. Um, I generally don't have the time. So this is something that's actually, actually just quick to do. Um, I'm going to apply a layer of MAC strobe cream. This will go on top of um, all your just regular skincare. I love it around the eye area. I find it great for when the powder actually goes onto my skin. Um, it just helps with that, so it does. So I'm not sure what application is going to work best with it. So I'm going to start um, with a beauty blender and I actually have a wet beauty blender and I'm literally just going to start roughly applying it everywhere. I do find when you're using a beauty blender, um, you eat up an awful lot more foundation. So, but I do also find that you can build coverage a lot better with it as well without it creasing into the skin. Okay, next up, uh, bye bye uh, under eye concealer, the It Cosmetic one. This one is like really kind of creamy in texture, so it is. Um, I've been using the actual It Cosmetic um brush to, um, kind of blend it into the skin, and I think it makes a world of difference. I'm just going to use um, Charlotte Tilbury um, press powder and um, the airbrush one to set and all I do is kind of pop it onto the skin. I have more help here today. I'm not into kind of a big heavy chisel kind of a contour look but I do like to like make my face look a little bit skinnier so just um, if you can see apply in here just under your jaw and just blend a bit of bronzer that's all I'm using. Okay, and bring it up onto the top of the forehead, nearly where the sun would hit. Tip the nose and just down onto the jaw as well. Again, it just gives it a little bit more definition when you're doing it. We'll do a little bit of blush and highlight. So a little bit of blush and just shake off excess and onto just the apples of the cheeks and blend them a little bit. Tip on the nose. I flip the top of my brush then onto my highlight and I just basically run it about there on each side and one thing I love to do pop a little bit of your highlight on the tip of your lip it helps emphasize the lip line I kind of like to see where I'm going now at this stage so god bless I need an eyebrow tint but anyways um, in the meantime I always brush eyebrows up you can use a, an eyeshadow the same color um, as your hair I don't think it needs to be a fancy brow powder but when I'm doing my eyebrows I start in underneath and I'll just draw my line underneath first and then where I want to force in my arch come from the top down um, and I'm only using um, I said a dark nearly colour eyeshadow now it is a MAC brow kit I have but a dark eyeshadow does the same job um, and then just kind of fill them up a little bit fake it till you make it with the eyebrows okay so once the eyebrows are done and reasonably matching they'll only have every sisters they'll never be twins I do say um, use i'm just using a black eyeliner and i'm just i don't really like liquid lines on my eyes anymore but i do obviously still like definition so um just color in as close to the root of the lashes as you possibly can i'm using a cold liner so it's nice and soft and then just using a brush you're just going to blend it out a little bit and i have a dark eyeshadow on the brush which helps to set the liner as well so it doesn't matter how i'm trying to be quick i am using um, a mac dazzle shadow it's just like a liquid eyeshadow so I'm just going to actually sit that on top of what I've done and just blend the, I'm blending it with um, just a kind of a warm, nearly orangey undertone brown and just into the crease line with it and then that will come down and kind of blend in and set the liquid shadow for me as well. Okay, so I've kind of softly blended that out and then all I'm going to do is use the same colour that I put into my crease just underneath my eye. Um, and in order to keep my eyes a little bit bright, I'm going to pop in a little bit of a cream eyeliner. Um, I'm going to use actually a Neva Garden one, I love it, um, just into my waterline. And I'm just going to pop something a little bit lighter just into the inside of the eye there, keep it nice and bright. So just a quick curl at the lashes, then your mascara. Okay, and then when you're putting on your mascara get right down into the very root of it so when you pull it up it'll nearly give you a little bit more of an eyeline 
Okay, for lips, I'm just going to use Pillow Talk. I'm going to draw the line of my lips and then I'm going to use the lipstick that my two-year-old just had fun with. Um, it's Charlotte Tilbury as well and it's actually in love with Olivia. That's the colour. No more lipstick on your teeth. Okay, so that's the finished look. Um, I really like the foundation. I love the coverage of it. I love the softness of it. Um, it feels comfortable on my skin. And the last thing I'm going to do is just pop on a little bit of a finishing spray. Um, and it's actually a hydration spray as well. So, job done.